What's up guys, this is Berk Music, and welcome back to Modern Broken Camo Challenges 3. Today we're gonna be- I was gonna say going for Forge Camo for the RGL80, but I actually got it yesterday, and I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. We're currently sitting at 14 out of 36 Forge Camo Challenges. My main focus has actually just been leveling up weapons and getting gilded first. Because once we get that done, we can blow through the camos, which you guys have probably been seeing in the videos. But yes, specifically for Forge Camo on the grenade launcher, you have to destroy 25 pieces of enemy equipment with it. Now here's the catch. The only thing that actually counts and tracks for this camo challenge is destroying claymores and prox mines. And because of the goofy armory unlock system in this game, not a lot of people actually have those pieces of equipment. So, I took your guys' advice and a lot of the advice on the internet, and I actually went into free-for-all and just straight up asked people like, yo, who wants to help with this camo challenge? And I was very surprised with the results. If you buy the boathouse, I'm wearing a white t-shirt, don't shoot me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see you, I see you. Thank you, dude. Hell yeah, you can kill me if you want. Shoot me. Nah, nah, you're good. My faith in humanity has been restored. Psst. Shout out to the legend Pause Up X Up X who just randomly decided to help me out with this camo challenge. He already had the camo for his grenade launcher, so he was just in free for all helping people out because he's just a nice guy. Honestly, my faith in humanity was restored when that happens, and we got it done. When it comes to the priceless challenge, we'll have to get 25 double kills, which honestly shouldn't be too hard. But specifically for this video, we're gonna be grinding out the forge camo challenges for the SMGs. Okay, I'm just now finding a website that actually tells you all of the different camo challenges, so you don't even have to look at the menu to find it. I'm gonna link that in the description to help you guys out because honestly it's just very annoying going through the menus and we have all of it right here it's just so much easier wait there's hardcore terminal 24 7 what i didn't even know that it is over now dude i mean i mostly play war for the camo challenges but i'll give it a try but yeah if you don't want to do the free-for-all method for the rgl 80 you can run the engineer vest which kind of helps with finding the enemy equipment i really do hope that sledgehammer games patches this for the rgl 80 and you can destroy things like munitions boxes and deployable covers that's what i would typically see in war and i probably destroyed that much equipment while casually trying trying to just use it and go for the challenge, but it just didn't track. Okay, so I think this is like kills shortly after aiming. This is gonna be so hard. Toys R Us. Oh, almost had him. Yeah, this build of the AMR I made is really just meant for speed. This thing has a terrible sprint out time, so I just made it extremely fast. Dude, where are these guys? Oh my Lord, this is what I'm saying. Wh why? I wanted to give this a try and I regret it deeply. You guys know too, I, I love hardcore, I really do. They're all just camping back by the plane, you f Happy birthday! No. How do we do on progress? Okay, that was actually very easy. I'll queue for that in hard point. We'll, we'll still try. What are the other challenges? For the Rival 9, it's also just ADS kills. For the Striker, it's three kills without dying ten times, and that's not hard. The Striker is so good. 15 long shots with the Striker 9, that's easy because this thing is just, it's a laser. There's so many WSPs, I don't know which of these is an SMG, I think it's the bottom two. Get 10 hit fire kills while the enemy is affected by your tactical, and then 10 kills using a magnification scope. Oh, that's so easy. Like, yes, hardcore is the easy, fast kills and stuff, but war just plays better. It really does. I mean, once we get Rust 24-7, forget about it. Honestly, kind of jealous of the people that are going for the Zombies camos right now. Because if you already got Borealis and you're moving to multiplayer, multiplayer's about to get real good. I mean, that should be it right there. Pop it up! Give it to me! Yeah! What? <laughs> that was a teammate, yo. Yo, my bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> he team killed the wrong person after. <laughs> I think it's the Rival 9 has the same challenge. Yeah, we'll just throw that on real quick. I need to kill myself. <laughs> Look, there's a rat. <laughs> That's an oh, it disappeared. Dude, there was an actual rat on the ground. Not just the rats playing the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm going back to war. I think I'm also working on Forge for the battle rifles. Yeah, 25 kills while fully ADS and fully loaded. I think that's literally just getting 25 kills with full attachments. Really should not be hard at all. What about the bass speed? Multi kills? I mean, <laughs> and then we have this battle rifle, which is get 25 operator clean kills or one shots. What the fuck is a clean kill? <laughs> What does that mean? I'll have to go back to hardcore for this because this just makes no sense. Yo, we got our boy Fart Bubble on the team. Kill name. The packet loss is something else. It's like Taco Bell when I ask for like 20 hot sauces and they give me nothing. I need the spice. Nope, was not a good lobby anyway. I genuinely don't understand why when I go to hit record, I get the worst possible lobbies for recording. And then when I'm casually playing, it's just beautiful. The game's perfect. It makes me so upset. Like, I want to get good highlights. I'm going to show you guys stuff. But instead, it's all trash! <laughs> Unintentionally getting long shots. Come on. Oh, they're all coming out. Wait. 
Oh, we got it. Okay, sweet. No need to complain. We got the camo. <laughs> I think this gun is like hip fire kills while they're affected by your tactical. I do not want to do that. I'll go for long shots instead. There's one. I just want to watch up mid. The most consistent way to... Oh, headshot feed. Quad head, come on. More. Come on, brother. No. This thing just burns through the ammo. I'll take it. Get out of my spawn. Get out of my spawn. Get out of my spawn. <laughs> like an old man complaining over here. Get out of my spawn, you kids. Back in my day, no one would spawn camp high rise. <laughs> it's like, yes, they absolutely would. High rise was meant for spawn trapping. It's meant for clips. All that good stuff. All right, so that's Forge Camo for the Rival 9. That was super easy. <laughs> I don't actually understand why some camo challenges are so easy and then other ones are like just unnecessarily long. But we did get half the long shots. I mean, the SMGs are just so easy. Okay, we got hard point terminal. Let's go. For this Uzi, we have to get kills with a magnification optic. I don't know if anything counts, but I don't really care what sight's on it. So we're going to go ahead and use something like with a bigger zoom like this. I mean, I think that'll count. Hello. <laughs> Oh, dude, he was just about to turn. Ooh. Yeah, it's kicking weird. Oh, we've got him. I'm. We might be done. He's using ghosty poos. Ooh. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Already done. I kind of want to go for the striker streaks. I think it's three kill streaks ten times. We could get this done in this match. I just gotta get my ass killed. Someone, please. Well, Oh, yeah, okay. All right, it's three kill streaks. Here we come. Can someone get a goddamn UAV? Oh. <laughs> There's one. Wait, do we have to reload? I don't know if we have to reload every time. I'm gonna do it, though. I also don't know if we can continue the streak and try to actually stack more kills, but I think you can. It just depends on what the challenge says. The labeling is so weird. Miracle. Now, if it was a one magazine challenge, I'm screwed. I don't know for sure, so I'm just trying to go. Okay. Oh, we're out of ammo. Oh, they got a UAV. Puta mierda, coño! What? When they group up like that, oh, that's that good shit. I like that. I. Did he spawn there or was he just camping there? There's a three. That's a multi kill. No, it's not a multi kill. Holy. I swear there's someone there. They have a. Fuck! No way. Nope. I'm not repeating that. Nope. I'm good. Worth it. And there it is. We already got Forge for that, too. Let's finish up the long shots with this one. Wait, is that the right gun? Oh, it is. Oh, it's this class, though. This one has the scope. Beautiful. Six more. Oh, that dive cost him. Oh, no, it ended. Damn it. We made some insane progress in that one. That was actually really good. Sweeps. A bunch of campers. Bro, I'm doing long shots. What do you expect? Yeah, we only need five more long shots with the Striker 9. And then we have to get hip fire kills while they're affected by a tactical grenade with this. With the WSP Swarm. And then the SMGs are done. So far, this is some of the fastest Forge Camo I've done. Out of all the guns that I've specifically grinded Forge Camo for, this one's gotta be the easiest. I love seeing the number go up. We're already halfway done with Forge Camo. And then after that, we're going for Priceless Camo. And I don't know how difficult the challenges are gonna be, but I'd imagine they're gonna be slightly harder than the Forge Camo challenges. But once we have those done, we get get interstellar camo and we're done i can't wait man thank you very much appreciated buddy he left the game okay well we only need four more maybe we could just leave this one when it's done oh come on guys you can't even when you pop out for my long shot count <laughs> <laughs> i'm just having fun with it now i mean this is so easy you know it's one thing if you're going for pistols or snipers or that stupid launcher but this is the smgs it's it's a cakewalk i mean that's not a long shot What are all these noises? What the? What? What is this? I've never had this kind of glitch before. Was that like the metal sound or something? That was so annoying. Like, please stop. I mean, that's not going to count, but we got a UAV that will help. 
Oh my. No, he took it, dude. Oh my. <laughs> this makes no sense. That's gotta be it. Come on, pop it up. I'm more than ready to get off of a state, please. Thank you, that's that's the one. Atrocious aim, but come on, pop it up. I know it's done. Thank you. Oh, that's right, it's hip fire kill. Okay, yeah, we're not doing hardcore for that. Probably should just take off the red dot then and put on like a good hip fire laser. We basically just need to build this thing for speed. So no stock should be pretty good too. Take off the armor piercing ammo and maybe just go for a hundred round mag. Oh my, hundred rounds Uzi to just spray up close while we stun people. Wow, this is a great match to be thrown into last second. Thanks, Call of Duty. I can't even leave. I changed the wrong Uzi class. I hate myself. We're gonna throw decoys and hope that it counts. I mean, I hope it counts. I don't know if it will. There we go. There's another one. Dude, this gun is just going in. Come on. Oh, dude. I had to aim for that. Oh my. Dude. I don't get how we don't have forge camo though. I don't know if I should just switch to stuns, but I'll only get one. This class is just weird because it's the overkill vest. Okay, so maybe the decoy grenades won't count. I thought they did before, but maybe not. I've recreated the builds on my double stun class, so hopefully we can still get it done. I stunned that guy too. Beautiful. Get the diffuse too. Let's go. It's not really diffuse, but <laughs> typing on the laptop. Ah, oh God. <laughs> And he did so. I know you're affected by it. Come on. This has got to be one of the weirdest challenges because I think only certain tacticals work and they have to be affected by it. You don't always know exactly when they're going to be affected when they won't. Just give it to me. Please. Stun me again, bitch. <laughs> what? That's the camo challenge, buddy. Yeah, I'm reporting you. Uh, reporting me for what? Doing camo challenges? Is this dude like 12? This is why people get shadow banned. I wonder if smoke grenades would count. Like if an enemy's in a smoke grenade and they're affected by it. Come on. Fuck! Come on. There's no way this challenge isn't done. That's the only thing that's tricky about war matches because they're so long. Like, I don't know if I should play this through. It's almost over, but like, it's so tempting. That, come on, keep going there. Keep going there, buddy. That's two people stuck. There's no way. There it is. Come on. There we go, he's affected, they're affected. Come on. Th there it is, okay, oh sweet. Let's go! Yep, there it is, we won. Yeah, dude, I think that guy actually blocked me because I didn't mute him, but it says that he's muted. Delusional ass motherfucker thinks that I'm cheating. Been playing the franchise since COD 4. Why the fuck would I cheat? Absolute peanut brains. Well, we got Forge camo for all of the SMGs. That puts us at 20 out of 36, so we're doing pretty good. There's just so many of them, though. I don't know if I want to go to private match and inspect them like I normally do. I don't necessarily like doing the inspections in the firing range, though, because it doesn't look that good. It'd be so nice if the firing range was actually, like, a nice-looking place to go to. I mean, this is probably the best view of it that we can get in the firing range. And I think this is for the Striker 9. No, it's just a regular Striker. The names of these guns, though, man. Okay, yeah, this one's the Striker 9. I mean, can you really tell the difference? Yeah, this one's the WSP Swarm. This is the gun that we just finished up. Dude, with the 100-round wow, mag, that this. looks hilarious. Oh, that looks gross! <laughs> you yeah, know, that might be a little bit of a suggestive inspection right there. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. All right, yeah, I'm gonna have to end it there. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed watching me camo grind some more on Modern Warfare 3. We finished up the SMGs. We're a little bit past the halfway point for Forge camo, and then we're gonna be grinding for Priceless camo next, and then we're gonna have Interstellar. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video and you wanna see some more camo grinding on Modern Warfare 3, make sure to drop a like. See you guys later. Outcome. Tangle.